What's up guys, this is part two to last week's video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about three lies that girls believe. Now, you need to know that I enter this video with great fear and trepidation because, as you can see, I am not a girl. Okay, this was no, this is, this is, this is widely known. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to be jumping into this one, but, uh, yeah, okay, anyway, let's go. Okay, so the first one is that outer appearance is more important than inner character. Now that's a lie, but I think so many girls actually believe that. They focus so much on the outside, the outside appearance. Um, I don't think only because they want to, but I think culture and you know society, men also put that kind of idea out there like outer appearance is more important than inner character but the bible actually says something different it actually talks about man looks on the outward appearance but god looks at the heart and i think just what i want to say is that if you're a girl and you're focused more on your outer appearance i think you're missing what god would actually want you to focus on in your life as a disciple focusing on how, who you are as a person and not just on how you look. You know, when we look around at movies and music and our society in general, we find a very different perspective. A perspective that sees women as objects and as prizes. That's not a biblical perspective at all. And we ought to be, you know, really pushing back on that. Not just as, you know, women pushing back on it, but us as men pushing back on that idea and saying, no, you know what? Character is what is important to God. Who we are as people is what is important to God. And that is really what we should be focusing on. How can we be better disciples of Christ? How can we follow him better and more passionately? Um, you know, it can be difficult to deal with insecurities about our outward appearance. And I can say I'm not free from that um, entirely. I struggle with that sometimes. But you know what? When we can take on God's perspective and see ourselves as he sees us, we can be confident. That's number one. Number two is that career is more important than motherhood. Now, um, I have seven siblings and um my mom is amazing she really is she has committed her life to raising us eight kids and actually homeschooling all of us i'm graduated now but i was homeschooled as well and that is just an amazing um glorious thing that she did demonstrating her giftings her abilities um, that god has given her and using those to fulfill her calling in motherhood and that is amazing but oftentimes um you know mothers can get looked down on like well hey look you're you should be you should be out there doing something else you should have a big career in an important job because that is what you should be doing you know i think we should be careful when we start hearing should from the world you should be having a career well why who says you know we look at what God has to say, he says that, you know, being a mother, a mother is a great blessing to have her children, to raise her children. You know, raising children in the fear and admonition of the Lord is a great calling. Now, I'm not saying that it's wrong to have a career as a woman. Now, I'm not saying that. Don't get that from what I'm saying here. But what I am saying is that we ought to commend mothers as a great and wonderful calling um, that should be admired and, and, you know, adored, not said, oh, well, she could have done all this other stuff if she didn't. No, it's great. It's wonderful. And, you know, it's, having a career is not more important than being a mother. And I just want to say that for the, the young women out there that are kind of tossing around, oh, well, I kind of, I just want to, you know, I kind of want to be a mother. I kind of, that's kind of where I feel like my calling is. And you feel the world's pulling you to, you know, 
do something spectacular in the business world or become, you know, a CEO and they're just trying to, you know, you should be doing this. Pull back and say, you know what? You can't tell me what I'm going to do. God's going to tell me what to do. And he says motherhood is a wonderful um, calling to have. So I would just want to encourage you in that. Um, Yeah, that's number two. Number three is you can't make a difference. Now, this was the same as last week, and this is the part of the show where I want to encourage you to go watch last week's video on three lies the world is telling guys. But I want to say the same message to you as women. You can make a difference. But like I said to the guys, it's about being faithful. It's not about the big stuff. It's not about having the huge impact, impacting millions of people. It's about impacting 10 people in your life, two people in your life, one person in your life, being faithful to be a witness, to speak truth, to serve. This is where the game has changed. This is where we can become our faithfulness. We can implant ourselves in a community to make real a a real difference through just being faithful in the little things. It may not be spectacular. It may not be glamorous, but it is where we're called to. And you know what? You may believe you can't change the world, but beginning through with your home, with your family, Being a servant with your family, being a servant with your friends, with your church, with your community in general, that is where it begins. And that's where we need to really dig into the faithfulness that God has shown us. He's our example, and we can just show that faithfulness to other people through serving, through speaking truth in love, and just, you know, pouring into our communities, families, and churches. That's where uh, the big difference is going to be made. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, like I said, <laughs> I don't claim to have all the answers. These are just some of my thoughts. So this is what I have proposed for you ladies that are watching. Go down to the comments. Tell me some of the lies that the world is telling you and that some maybe your friends believe. Um, maybe the lies that you've believed and kind of let me know and maybe some of the truth that can surround those lies because I'm always interested in getting other people's perspectives. Um, I love the comment section, by the way, it's always so encouraging and uplifting and like really, you know, honest, but just kind. So I really appreciate that about us and our community. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos. Um, I try to release at least one a week, maybe two. So we'll stay uh, tuned on that. Check out dailydisciple.ca if you're interested in my blog posts. I put out them frequently and um, I hope you check them out. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.